What I've got here is an 1868 Springfield trapdoor rifle. As you can see, it's in really good shape. And boy, does it fire well. But I'm not here to teach you anything about guns. I'm here to find out more about the gun I have from maybe uh, some of you experts out there, or even collectors. Because what's interesting about this rifle is that all the ones you see on the internet, or anywhere for that matter, anywhere, the breech block, which is this right here, uh, the marking says 1868 on this one. And if you look at those videos out there, you'll see that all of them have 1870 and 1869. And all I can say about the 68s is that they're extremely rare or very rare or that you're not going to have one no matter what. But I've got one. And I'm trying to find out more information about it. Even Wikipedia says there's like 16 known to exist, but I don't know how much you can believe Wikipedia. Anyway, if you're watching this video, go on the internet. If you can find me even a photograph, one image of an 1868 breech block, I'd appreciate it. If you can get the value of just one, I'd appreciate it. I cannot find one anywhere. All the other ones are, are everywhere. It's got two bands instead of three bands. There's the other one. And it's in such good shape and it fires so well. And it, it's just a pleasure. Now I'm going to try to do this with one hand holding the camera and the other. But you open it up like that. Now that's in the safety position. It won't fire in that position. You open up this latch. You put the bullet in. And you close it like this. And then you pull it back further. And then it's ready to go. Now it's in fire position. I'm not going to dry fire it. But I have fired it before, and it shoots so well. But like I said, if anybody can get a value on this gun for me, I sure would appreciate it. The barrel's 32 and a half inches long. The gun is 51 inches and 7 eighths long. Um, the lock plate's got 1863 on it. And like I said, the breech has 1868 on it. And look at this model number as well. It's going to be upside down, but you can see that model number is 127. And I just think I got something here. Anybody knows anything else about this? Please, I'm willing to learn. And I'd love to get a value on it. Because as much as I love old things, uh, I'd like to sell this gun and turn it into very old coins, which is what I really do. So... Thanks again. Anything you can tell me would be awesome. And that's about it. Please leave comments.